already roughed out this blank we just turn to the final diameter peeling cut removes waste very quickly get down close to the size of the dowel and my homemade gauge just a quick mark so I can get the perfect size cut the shoulders back this means the finial will sit on the top of the post nice clean joint no gaps then mark out transitional points using the storyboard there's a reduced bead in the middle which is impossible to guess the exact size so I gauge it with the calipers for the parting tool I reduce some of the waste at the top end this is where the whole finial will be cut off and then mark out the transitional points with plunge bead cuts Firstly, I turn the bead. This is an off center bead, so one side's bigger than the other. This is a very unusual shape finial. Really odd sort of style. This neck isn't straight, it's slightly concave. I'm now going to turn the small bead. To remove some of the waste here so I can ac access the side of the bead to turn it. I've got the previous one and the photo at the back of the lathe, so I've always got a visual reference to what I'm doing. Put this cove with a half inch spindle gouge, keeping the bevel pointing in the direction of travel. A nice clean cut. Start with the bevel closed to so get that sharp crisp edge, giving it a nice feature. And a couple of roughing cuts to get close to the design at the top. Remove some of the waste and then the final refining of the shape. Again, always keeping my eye on the on the pattern that I'm trying to match. Just touch up there. Get it exactly how I want it. Just quick sanding. Here I'm starting a 180. This finial is going to be painted. Normally 180 is good enough painted, but it's a black paint which shows up every single mark. So I will just finish off with the 240 grit. Once I'm happy, everything's how I want it to be. I then got to cut this finial off. And the best way to get a really clean cut is to move, remove as much of the waste and keep going smallest diameter possible these are very light cuts because if you push on the end grain you'll bruise it and get a shiny ring cut as small a diameter as possible without danger of it flying and then leave a tiny nub on the end which you can just snip off with a skew fortunately I didn't quite catch that in the video 